So in this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to solve a quadratic equation. The first way I'm going to show you is called the guide number method. Now this is a very easy way to solve a quadratic equation. What you do is you multiply the coefficient of the x squared by the constant. So I'm going to go 3 multiplied by minus 12. That will give me minus 36. Then what I do is I try to factorize this minus 36 and get factors that add together to give me plus 5. So for this situation, those factors are going to be 9 and minus 4. 9 multiplied by minus 4 gives you minus 36. 9 added to minus 4 gives you plus 5. So what I do with them now is I rewrite my quadratic equation as 3x squared. Now instead of the 5x, I'm going to do 9x and minus 4x. So plus 9x minus 4x. And it actually doesn't matter what order you put them in. You can put them in the other order. It'll still work. Minus 12 is equal to 0. Now what we do is we factorize by grouping. So we take the first two terms and we take the highest common factor. So the highest common factor between 3x squared and 9x, that's going to be 3x. Then we see what will be left inside the brackets. So if we take 3x out of this first one, we're left with x. And if we take 3x out of this second one, we're left with plus 3. Then we have a look at the second two and we see what the highest common factor is. Uh, now it's going to be 4, but notice that we have two minus signs here. So I'm actually going to take out minus 4. And the reason I do that is because I want to get the same thing in the brackets here. If I take 4 out as a factor of this, I'm left with x. And if I take minus 4 out as a factor of minus 12, I'm left with plus 3. It's important that you get the same thing in both sets of brackets. So what we do then is we write down, first of all, what's in the brackets. So our x plus 3, we write that down first, x plus 3 in one set. And then in the other set of brackets, you write down the rest of the stuff here, which is 3x minus 4. And that's equal to 0. So we're nearly done. We have a factorized. Now we just need to solve for x. So you take both of them individually x plus 3 is equal to 0. So that means x is equal to minus 3. And then this one, same thing, 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. 3x is equal to 4. x is equal to 4 over 3. So there's our two answers. x is equal to minus 3. And x is equal to 4 over 3. Now let's take a look at another method. We're going to do the same equation, but this time we're going to use the slide and divide method. So the slide and divide method, I think, is even easier. What you do is you take the 3 and you slide it down this way and you multiply it by the 12. And we rewrite our equation then. This time the 3 is gone, so we have x squared plus 5x. And then it's 3 multiplied by minus 12 is minus 36 is equal to zero. And then I'm gonna try and factorize this by opening up two sets of brackets like this. I factorize my x squared, which is just x by x, that's easy. And then the same as the last time, I'm looking for factors of minus 36 that add together to give you five. We already know that those factors are nine and minus four. So we put them into the brackets here so plus 9 minus 4 now you're going to say they don't look like the factors from the last time we haven't done the divide part so we did the slide now we do the divide so we divide 9 by 3 and then we divide minus 4 by 3 for the first one that works out fine x plus 9 divided by 3 is 3 so that's x plus 3 and for the second one well 3 doesn't go into 4, so what we do is we take this 3 and we put it up here in front of the x, and that gives us 3x minus 4, and that's equal to 0, and you'll know that that's the same as what we got the last time. So for this one, x is equal to minus 3, and for this one, x is equal to 4 over 3. 
and we have both our answers there for the slide and divide method. And then the last method I'm going to show you is the quadratic formula. So I'd say a lot of people know this at this stage. The quadratic formula is x is equal to minus b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And the reason why I like this one is because this will work for any quadratic equation that you have even one that isn't easily factorized or one that can't be factorized and even quadratic equations that don't have real roots that have complex roots. So in this one a is equal to 3 that's just the coefficient of the x squared, b is equal to 5 that's the coefficient of the x and c is equal to minus 12 that's the constant. So we're going to fill all of these into the formula and see what we get. So x is equal to minus b, so that's minus 5, plus and minus the square root of b squared, so it's minus 5 squared. Now be careful with that because you want to put that in brackets and square it because minus 5 by minus 5 is plus 25. Sometimes your calculator will give you the wrong answer for that. Minus 4 times a, which is 3, times c, which is minus 12, and then that's all over 2a, which is 2 times 3. So x is equal to minus 5 plus and minus the square root of minus 5 squared is 25, and minus 4 by 3 by minus 12 is 144. And that's all over 2a, which is 6. Let's keep going with this. So x is equal to minus 5 plus and minus 25 plus 144 is 169. The square root of 169 is 13. So that works out nicely over 6. So I have my two answers and I'm going to do one here and I'm going to do the other one here. So my two answers are x is equal to minus 5 plus 13 over 6. Minus 5 plus 13 that's 8. 8 divided by 6 is 4 over 3. And then I have x is equal to minus 5 minus 13 over 6. Minus 5 minus 13 is minus 18. Minus 18 divided by 3 is, uh, or sorry, divided by 6 is minus 3. So my two answers, x equal to 4 over 3 and x is equal to 3. So that's three methods for solving a quadratic equation. You can use any of them in the, in the exam and all of them will be worth equal marks.